When I was 24 years old, my whole life changed. I developed symptoms related to a mostly invisible condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. And for a long time, people didn't believe that I was really sick because they couldn't see my illness. And there are so many other people sharing my experiences. He would always, he always still does. Every time I walk by him in the hallway, he'll like say she's faking it. I don't even know why he does that. People have boxes in their heads that you either a wheelchair is a permanent thing or you should be able to walk. And it's a humiliation to stand there in public and someone's going, oh, so you can walk, can you? Why are you in a wheelchair then? It wasn't only my loved ones that didn't believe in my condition. Often the people supposed to help you hurt you the most. Also jeder neue Arzt, zu dem man muss, ist Stress für mich, purer Stress. Wenn der das erste Mal mich komisch anschaut, dann habe ich Panik. Dann kriege ich Herzklopfen, Schweißausbrüche, dann will ich gehen. You just want one person to back you and one person to believe you. And if you not have to go through the pain of vindicating yourself again and again and again. Any chronic illness causes many overwhelming emotions and it is so painful to find a way to accept your limitations. <clears throat> it's kind of like shouting at the sky when it rains. And when I was finally found to have EDS, life didn't get much easier after. EDS can take away many of the things you love. They love spending time with their friends. They love playing with their friends. But they get tired so very quickly. So every morning it's yelling, why do I have to go to school? We get tired at school, we get pain at school, nobody understands. I only have one friend. I have nobody else besides her because nobody else accepts me like I am. But this ends now.